our um, maybe let's uh, inside our character uh, data type variables we need to use it in a similar fashion as we have done with the double quotation mark so how do we do that so let's actually um, so let's actually uh, place that inside here so if we want to place that something like this um, it will only store a single one if we place that here so if we place another uh, single quotation mark inside our character what it does is that it actually shows uh, that we have a problem the problem in here is that it's actually considering it to be uh, it's actually considering to be a p I mean it wanted uh, it it is considering this to be a legit uh, character uh, a character value but the third one is an unmatched uh, single quotation mark because it's not followed with another it needs to have a starting quotation mark which it does not have so to use that inside our code what we need to do is that use a backslash character so this is a legit string for now but the problem in here is that it's telling us that we're using too many character literals inside a single one so we can't do that because it has uh, it will be a buffer overflow I guess uh, it will be a problem if we want to store that inside our memory but just for the sake of a demonstration purpose what we can do is that uh, we have I've just used that inside the character uh, character data type the variable to show you that it's actually uh, working but the problem in here here is that our memory allocation will be exceeded that's why it's showing that um, red underline now let's remove that now the fourth one that we'll be talking about is um, the if you want to use something like a backslash if you want to use a backslash in here uh, this actually shows this actually points out uh, the editor actually tells us that this is a mistake so whenever we hover over this um, it tells us this is an un unrecognized escape sequence because our escape sequences must always start with a backslash so if we really want to use a backslash in our string what we need to do is that the first uh, remember that the first backslash is always recognized to be a starting point for our um, for our uh, escape sequences so we need to f uh, we need to use another backslash to tell the compiler that we literally want to print out this uh, backslash in our string so this time you see we are uh, shown our green flag because our string turns out to be correct and the first backslash is telling the compiler we are starting an escape sequence and the second backslash is telling the compiler is that you must print this second backslash literally inside the string so we'll see a single backslash when you print this out on our screen now uh, let's add this inside the list so we have got the backslash escape sequence so we have got one two three four five and the last one is the uh, backspace uh, it's called the um, backspace escape sequence so this backspace this tab and the new line characters all work in a similar way as if you're actually using the keyboard commands so I guess you know what the backspace uh, backspace sorry backspace does in your Windows machine so I think we, we can actually see that through one through creating a single a simple script so let's create that so the first one that we'll be uh, using is the new line character so let's print out something this uh, is this sec this is a s this is a second or we can write something uh, this is text 2 
in in printed on a new line so what this will do is that it will first the first right line method will print out the value stored inside the str uh, text one string variable and the second right line function will actually print out this text on a new line and this is ensured by the backspace character uh, backspace uh, backspace escape sequence that we know as the new line character literal now the second one that we'll be using is um, let's use the new line and the second one that we'll be using is the tab so we are actually telling the compile when we use this right line method we are actually telling the compiler to uh, print this out on a new line but let's see what happens um, so the second one that we are going to use the tab so this is going to print the value of the new line uh, I mean the text this is going to indent uh, four spaces before printing out this uh, text so this is a tab this is the tab escape sequence and let's um, let's now use the double quotation mark inside our um, inside our string so uh, let's write uh, let's write a, a direct dialogue uh, let's write a direct conversational dialogue so uh, let's write Tom said Tom said um, I actually made a mistake okay so Tom said this is double quotation mark and this is followed by uh, not the ending uh, double quotation mark so we don't need to use spaces in here and let's now use um, let's now use the backspace backspace um, backspace escape sequence and let's write something this is the back space escape sequence and let's finally uh, I guess we haven't used the backslash and we need to use that so after we do this we'll obviously compile this as usual and we'll look at the output uh, inside our command prompt now let's use this uh, something like do you like an orange uh, although we don't use that backslash we actually use a forward slash but just for the demonstration purpose let's use it in here or an apple although this does not mean or the forward slash actually means or in English I know that but let's uh, use this one for the timing now I know it's a terrible example but let's stick to it uh, okay now the last one that we will use is the uh, single quotation mark using the escape sequence this is the single quotation mark uh, yep so let's use it something like this 
And we are done. So let, let's save this thing. 